Welcome to the channel, Thriller here. For the month of Spooktober, we will be throwing some crazy matches at you in WWE 2K. We have the Ghostbusters, Peter, Winston, Egon, and Ray against four of the craziest, most dangerous, most unpredictable ghosts in history. We have the Candyman, Beetlejuice, Gengar from Pokemon, and the Ghost King from Lord of the Rings. We will be skipping the entrances. As much as I would love to play some music from Ghostbusters, I will literally be thrown off of YouTube. Let's get right to the action from the sold out pay-per-view. Referee wearing the old school WCW blue shirt because Beetlejuice just had to show up in black and white pinstripes. Starting off with Beetlejuice and Egon going at it. Egon just throwing Beetlejuice onto the ropes. And going to the top rope himself, Ghost King thought about maybe pushing him off there. Ghost King looking massive, by the way. And Ghost King does get a cheap shot onto Egon. You gotta think these ghosts aren't gonna play by the rules as Beat just moves out of the way. I will be making sure not to say Beetlejuice's name three times in a row because I'm not sure what will happen. As he tags in Candyman, whose name I will also not be saying three times in a row because once again, not sure what would happen to me. Egon taking it to Candyman, saying, you know, I don't need my teammates. I'm just gonna just gonna melee here. As he gets a little body drop there. Candyman looking like his guts are hanging out, but everything seems to be staying intact for now. As Egon is dragging him a little bit across the ring. Uh, well, not really sure what's going on there. Egon, oh, going for the pin already. You gotta think it's way too early. Way too early for a pin. Egon getting a little ahead of himself. I mean, you gotta think the Ghostbusters are a little cocky coming into this from some of the adventures they've been on. You know, they, they can't be scared at all. But then again, these are some, some very tough ghosts to go after. Egon tagging in Ray Stance. And Ray and Candyman going at it now. Ray with a big float over net breaker. You can see the Ghostbusters are wearing the proton packs. Just in case things do get out of hand, they might throw a trap out. You know, try, try to catch someone. You know, don't want the ghost to go after the crowd or anything like that. But everyone seems to be playing by the rules so far, for the most part. Alright. Uh, Ray trying to put some kind of a face lock on Candyman on the ground but we got into the ropes there now Ray tagging in Winston Ghostbusters have been utilizing the tags very well we've seen one tag on the ghost side but Ghostbusters seem to be in a much better rhythm which you would you would expect you would definitely expect them to be in a better rhythm now Candyman does typically have a hook on his right hand you can see the the blood there he did have to remove that out of fairness for the fight here. And we did ask him to keep his guts and innards inside. Not to let them pour all over the ring. Alright, now Candyman thought he was looking for a tag. And I think he's just taunting his own teammates there with a big leg drop onto Ray. Or onto Winston, excuse me. Ray was tagged out. Candyman with the pin and Winston kicks out at two. Is Candyman going for a tag? He he acts like he wants to tag Gengar, but then doesn't. Now he does. Gengar, the Pokemon, coming into, into the match here. He does love scaring people, but he's just going with a big knife edge chop onto Winston right off the bat. Looking for a power bomb. May sit down power bomb onto Winston, who is trying to reach for a tag. And Gengar going for a pin. Beetle just running in and just taking a cheap shot at Ray. Who is not trying to break up the pin at all. Now Egon and Beetlejuice going at on the outside. Peter Vinkman just, just hanging out watching. Gengar with the two count on to Winston again. Oh, Winston desperately needing a tag. Alright, tagging Candyman back in. Tags on the wrong side now. Winston desperately needing a tag as Candyman gets back in. We have not seen Ghost King yet. We've also not seen Peter who doesn't seem too inclined to get inside anyway. Candyman going for the cover onto Winston. Now Egon jumping in to break it up, not having the confidence that Winston will kick out. Ghost King tried to get involved, but was a little too slow on that one. Candyman just taunting, saying he will literally kill 
the Ghostbusters, if need be. Big elbow drop from the top rope from Candyman onto Winston, and that may be it. Oh, no, he's tagging in Gengar the Pokemon. Thought he may go for a cover there, but Gengar is going for the cover. Now, several people into the ring. Ray breaks it up. Everyone getting into the ring now, except for Peter, who wants nothing to do with any of these ghosts, as expected. Gengar with a big spine buster onto Ray, who slides out the ring. Beetle out the ring now, and Ghost King out the ring on the wrong side. He is going to have to move back around. You know, he may, Ghost King may be the oldest of the group here. Not sure quite what's going on. Gengar telling Beetlejuice to just move out of his way. He is not tagging anyone. Now he's taunting Candyman. Gengar just playing his own side here. Oh, big knee to the face on the Winston from Gengar. And that may be it. As, oh. Winston tries to throw a haymaker in. Gengar with the snapmare and the drop kick to the back. Now what are we going to see here? Gengar taunting as usual. As the ghost and the monsters typically do. Taunting, giving Winston time to tag out. What a terrible move. But he doesn't seem to care as Gengar just hits the drop kick on to Egon. Winston still in the ring for some reason. Now he gets out. Big hip toss from Gengar on to Egon. Another big hip toss. Will we see a pin here? And no, we will not. Oh, a roll up from Egon onto Gengar. The ghost just not caring. They're not jumping in, but Ray jumps in and hits a cheap shot onto the Ghost King. Now Egon looking for possibly another tag. He needs to tag uh, Peter into the match, who has not been in yet. Thought for a minute he might tag Winston, which would be a huge error on the Ghostbusters part. Egon and Gengar now trading blows. Those two names, not easy to say back and forth at the same time. A lot of G's in there. A lot of G's in there. Gengar going for the cover. The Ghosts have been going for a lot of covers in this match. We didn't think that would be it. That was a, a quick kick out at one. Gengar taunting once again. As Egon makes the tag onto Winston. Interesting choice. Again, Peter just jumps down like he wants nothing to do with this match. Ray has been involved. Peter has not been involved whatsoever. Winston with a bit of a hold here. Not quite sure what to call this. But looking for a possible submission as Gengar flips over and tries to pin Winston. Oh, he kicks out. Gengar may need a tag as well. We see that he is primed for a finisher. But Winston taking it to him now with a big drop kick. Winston definitely catching his second win. Stun. Winston with a big body drop. Thought that was going to be a spine buster, but no. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Winston may need to look for a tag, but it seems like he's got a lot of energy here. Egon resting on the outside. Peter. Just hanging out on the outside. Winston tags Ray in. And Ray is going at it. Ray looking for a big uh, New Day leg drop. Shades of Kofi Kingston. Ghost King coming in to break up the pin as Ray tries to get Gengar. Winston coming in for a cheap shot on Ghost King. Does not happen. Ghost King not having it. Gengar with a big pin onto, onto Ray. Oh, we thought he grabbed the ropes. A little bit of controversy. Looked like Ray grabbed the ropes there, but Gengar gets the pin for the Ghosts. We say that Ghost King didn't do much, but he did get involved a lot breaking up pins. Peter Venkman, kind of as expected, not doing anything at all. And the crowd cheering, some booing, a little mixed reactions here. The Ghostbusters have cleared the ring. Looks like they'll give the ghost their respect. Gengar picks up the win over Ray, who did look like, if we're being honest, look like he grabbed the ropes. I think the ref may have been a little scared of the of the ghost in this one. Either way, it's going down in the history books. The ghosts take this one as we continue into Spooktober. The ghosts are taking over. Three star match. Could have gone a little longer, could have got some more people involved, but you know, the ghosts just do what it takes to win.
Thank you for watching everyone. I'm Thrill Alive. Make sure to like and subscribe. There will be some more content and some more scary stuff, possibly some Royal Rumbles. You never know. Well, you do know because I just told you. All right. We will see y'all when I see y'all.